Hello and welcome to Samples for Schools Split Lamb Head Dissection. This is an interesting sample to look at more of an intact organism. You can identify different bits and pull them out and dissect them individually or just look at the whole organism as itself. When you receive your sample you'll be able to identify lots of different features. This is going to range from vertebrae to jawbones, mandible, tongue, teeth, eye and brain. When we look at the back section of our sample, we get a really good cross-section of all the different structures and tissues that you'd find. We'll be able to identify this really thick muscle in the tongue, the strong mandible jawbone that's going to be using for chewing the cud, as well as the sinus cavity and the brain. You can remove the brain and identify the cerebellum and the rest of the cerebrum, and you can remove the eye and identify the optic nerve. When you look at your sample, you'll notice that it has no front incisors at the top, only at the bottom. This is because the sheep is a ruminant, and it uses these bottom incisors against a dental pad to nip the grass, with its then back teeth to chew the cud. When you receive your sample, one option is to do an eye dissection. For more details of that, you can see our eye dissection video. But to remove it from here, it might need some gentle persuasion. My tip is to use a scalpel to just gently cut away the tissue around the edge and then use forceps to try and retrieve it out of the socket and then sever the optic nerve. Once you've removed the eye, you'll be able to see in the rear of the eye socket where the retinal nerve was attached. On the reverse of your specimen, you'll be able to remove the brain. You can see along the edge here the skull of the lamb. This is the main cerebrum area. And at the back, we have the hindbrain, the cerebellum. Once you've loosened the brain from its cavity, you should be able to remove the whole specimen intact. When looking at the sheep's brain, you'll be able to notice that it is folded. This increases surface area. The raised parts are a gyri, the sunken dips being sulci. At the rear of the brain, we have the brain stem and a cerebellum. Another feature that you can identify in your specimen is this thick muscle. This is its tongue. And if we lever it to the side, you'll be able to see all those teeth that are responsible for chewing the cud. For more information on split lamb head dissection, please see our website for lesson plans and risk assessments. Thank you for watching.